Welcome back to Can I Play SnowRunner playthrough episode 6. We are going to continue where we left off clearing our paths, clearing up the roads, and so we are going to tackle Mountain Bridge here. So I need to deliver metal planks, to which I pick up at the town storage first to the Mountain Bridge, and then concrete blocks, which will be way over by the warehouse, which we went to to get bricks, I think, last episode. Uh, once we clear that up, we'll see what's next. So the plan here is to take the Fleet Star to the town storage to get the metal planks. I do want to look at, I don't know if we'll do it in this episode or not, but I want to start thinking about potentially upgrading this truck and I'm not sure so the problem is as I've mentioned several times I kind of started an earlier playthrough before I started this series and I don't recall which trucks I was able to just purchase and which trucks I had to find to unlock so next time I'm back in the garage we will check that I'd like to get the Paystar that was kind of my favorite early game truck. But I don't recall if I had to find that on the map. So we'll get this road open and then look at either doing... I think there's one more mission. One or two more missions about clearing the road. But I also want to take a scout vehicle out and unlock the rest of the towers. And the reason for that is... Well, when you unlock towers, you find new tasks and missions. So everything, when I go into the map and, and click back and forth between the contracts and the tasks, that's not everything even for this map. I did set a nav point to stop here and get fuel. I don't need a ton of fuel, but might as well do a quick drive by. and on to the town storage. Again, back to the truck discussion. I have four trucks right now and Especially early game, there's not really a good use for multiple trucks. It can be helpful later when the missions get a little bit more complicated to have trucks that you can take a trailer somewhere and, and leave it and know that it's there for a later mission. It's close to a location or leave it at a fuel stop. But early game, when you're essentially picking up two slots of items times maybe, you know, times two, meaning like two planks two wooden planks, two con one concrete plank or whatever. It, it's not really that big of a deal. All right, metal planks is what I need from here. So I'll go in and set my nav points, try not to get lost here. Mountain bridge. All right, so yeah, so I think what we want to do is we just want to go back down to the bridge that we cleared out in episode one. Cross that. Go down that path past the other fuel station that's on this on this map. There's two, at least two fuel stations on this map. And then down to the Fallen Bridge. This will be a big one to open up because as you saw in a previous episode, in some of the areas where you have downed power lines or rock slides, you can drive around them, especially in a scout truck. But the, when the bridges are out, it's typically impassable. Here I come. Come on. Stay on the road. It's 
sometimes you get a little nervous when the truck downshifts if you think you're stuck but a lot of times when you hit a go from an area with traction to an area with no traction it'll downshift to first gear on its own and come to a complete stop and then you'll just start going again I don't know what the plans for wheel and pedal support are for this game. I believe Mud Runner supported wheels, steering wheels, and I think there's been some talk on social media from the publisher. I think that could be even just, you know, still just driving it fully automatic without a shifter or anything like that could be a nice enhancement to this game. One of the other games I played quite a lot of, which I am probably not going to start over at this point for the purpose of this channel, but I may pull it up and record kind of a tour video. Um, but I played the heck out of Farming Simulator 17 when that showed up on Game Pass. Um, so I was able to play it for free. And I know people that play that game on PC, there's actually somebody makes a like a full tractor setup, meaning there's like a, instead of just a gear shifter off to the side, there's like a full panel with a joystick and everything. I think Logitech makes it and it goes with the G29 slash G920 series, but it only works for PC. So if you're a console gamer, you're out of luck. But that allows you to use things like the forklifts and the telehandlers and stuff like that with the more realistic setup. I mean, it's a wheel and pedals to start with, but it gives you the ability to control things like, so I don't know if something like that would work for this for the cranes. It's kind of where I'm going. I'd settle for just the wheel and pedals for a little bit more realistic driving experience. I think, you know, probably the most challenging thing from a developer perspective is building out the force feedback, I would think, um, and making that realistic. Which certainly for a game like this, where a big part of the challenge is kind of the, the jerkiness. Am I going the right direction? Nope. Yet again, the nav point fooled me. So it was kind of pointing. When I got to here, it was kind of pointing off to the to the right because I was facing this direction. So I took this jog in the road, and I am now going the wrong direction. We'll figure this out. Maybe I'll change the channel name to Can I Get Lost? Duh, I said I was going to go by the fuel station, so I knew that. And I should be good. I'm not going to fuel up here. I fueled up earlier when I was only down 20 liters. So I will go ahead and drive past here. I know this game's available for PC. One of the channels that I first started watching a playthrough on was a PC player. And I don't know if there's wheel support for that already or not. I think they are working on wheel support for every platform. Like I said, if they were able to pull it off for Mud Runner, which I never played. Um, Maybe I'll have to go back. This game is pretty fun. Although, I find I generally... I mentioned in an earlier video that Fallout 4 is one of my favorite games. I never played any of the other game, other ones except for Fallout 3. Turn this in. 
Got to accept the mission first. Cargo management. Unload. Okay. Get the little animation here. Um, I came to that series through Fallout 4, and I actually went back to try to play Fallout 3, and I know Fallout 3 and then New Vegas, which is kind of an add-on or a addition to Fallout 3. It's on the same engine and everything like that. Is one of the most popular ones in the series. Uh, New Vegas in particular. Um, I just couldn't get into, after having played the first one, or the fourth one, I just couldn't get into going, kind of going back. So I think I'm going to have to go up this path past the con again, which I know I can make it because I did that in the earlier episode with, I think, a load of bricks. So let's set our nav points here. And I think I want to, yeah, I'll go down this side here. Concrete blocks when I get there. It's nighttime again. Come on. I know I can make it up this pass. Like I said, I drove it before, but it'll be slow going. A little bit of a challenge. Feels like I'm in low gear. It's just the level of wheel spin that I have. There we go. And then it lurches forward, sending you careening towards the rock wall. I think after this, I will take a look back at the garage at what trucks are purchasable versus what I need to unlock. So I can plan ahead a little bit. Because if there's something that's better that I can buy now, I'd be willing to sell some of the trucks that I have. this one to bits. I don't know how durability works if that's directly related to how easy the truck is to damage or if it is how many damage points it has. If you know from playing the game, let me know in the comments. Because I feel like this truck take takes damage easier. Maybe And maybe it's both. And it could be a function of the way the truck is built, like how big the tires are and how much lift it naturally has, in addition to, say, go into the block the diff here, just hipping to hit a mud hole at the bottom of that hill. It could be a function of both, or it could be a function of the way the truck is built, meaning if you have 43 or 45 inch tires or 41 inch tires versus 48s.